On the aisle, yes, right here. Stand if you think it's you. You are the one. Thank you to all of you for reminding us who we are. Thank you to people at home like Michael and Tracy and Adira and my sister. I'm really satisfied with what is, applying your work, doing the processes and everything is really amazing. And I'm wondering if you can pick out anything in my vibration that would help me take it to the next level. Because you speak of those who grow and get by and those who grow exponentially. And I'm wondering if there's anything in my vibration that you could help me pick out that I should look at. Ordinarily, when someone says everything is really working out wonderfully, then our encouragement to them is to get out there and mix it up a little bit because more step one experiences are necessary to get more energy moving because after all, the thing that makes life feel the most wonderful is really, hear this, moving into the vortex. In other words, the most exhilarating moments in life are when life has caused you to put something into your vibrational reality that you're not up to speed with and then figure out how to move in the direction of it. That's where the exhilaration of life really is. And that's what you all came into this physical body to get over and over and over and over and over again. It, it, it is so exhilarating. It's not exhilarating to get there and be there. It's exhilarating to go there. And so we started to say that if someone tells us that, then we encourage them to get out there and mix it up with step one experiences. But we don't feel that with you because we can feel all kinds of wonderful things in your vortex that you have not yet become a vibrational match to. But that's really a perfect world. We like it when you have 20 or 30 lifetimes of stuff there, and you do. 20 or 30 lifetimes of stuff there, all for the purpose of discovering. So, on, an, on a normal day, we're just going to throw out some words that describe emotion. And you tell us, and, and don't think too much about it, answer as quickly as you can, which, which emotion best fits the way you most often feel at the beginning of the day. Eagerness, frustration, worry. I, I would say it is worry because I do tend to wake up yes. in a bit of things, yes. but I do the processes and then within... That's very, why we ask the question very... when you first wake up. Because, we, so when you first wake up, there's a sort of feeling of worry. And, and that's because you have all of these things that you put into your vortex that are calling you, but by the end of the day, you're usually not in the vortex. And as you go to sleep, you're usually not in the vortex. And so... I do find the morning my most vulnerable time, but after I've done the process for two hours, usually by the end of the day, I'm really buzzed up. All I right, so more often than we not. We agree with that, but here, and the reason we were asking the questions when you wake up later in the day, this is what would happen if we were to ask the questions of you and you were to give us your answers. This is the way your chart would look. First thing in the morning, you feel more worried. After you do the processes, you feel not only more hopeful, but you feel uh, energized, even frisky, eager about the day. As the day goes on and you encounter more things that take you out of the vortex, your vibration moves more into uh, hopefulness and a little bit of pensiveness, a little bit of irritation. In other words, this emotional scale, we're making it this way with the better feeling higher and the worse feeling lower until by the end of the day, you are about where you started out at the beginning of the day. In other words, because this is always true. When you go to sleep out of the vortex, it's always where you wake up. If you go to sleep in the vortex, that's always where you wake up. So here's what we feel from you. We can feel that you understand these processes that we are offering. We know that you understand law of attraction. We can feel that you accept as a reality this vibrational reality. In other words, there isn't anything in your vibration that leads us to believe that you don't understand all of this. Your question to us is, what might you do that would make a big difference in what's going on. So we say, you don't need to do more step one work than what's naturally coming to you because you've got enough in your vortex to keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes. The only thing that we would emphasize for you is make sure that, or do as best as you can, that when you go to sleep at night, you're in the vortex as you drift off to sleep. Now, here's what we mean by that. If you lie in your bed and you bask on the details of what's up close to you. Try to draw your mind in from the things that you've been thinking about. You have a really active mind and that's why you wake up 
worried because you're thinking about all of those moving parts and there's this little bit of trying to exercise some control and when you're trying to exercise control over uncontrollable things it's an out of the vortex experience that puts you in that vibration of worry and that's why you're wake waking up there when you wake up and you refocus you focus yourself into a better feeling place but the fact that you end up back in that place of worry again before you go to sleep is an indicator it's sort of like stretching something out but when you let go it goes back to what's most natural and stretching it out to where it goes back it goes back to what's more natural where if you will do just these three simple things as you're going to bed it will it will solve all of this so bask yourself to sleep no matter what in other words make a decision that you are going to bask yourself to sleep and by basking we mean love your pillow Esther bought a new pillow it's just the perfect pillow it, it came from the sleep number store and it's just the perfect pillow for Esther it's the, it was so perfect for Esther that she bought one for everybody she loves in other words she walked out of there with arm loads of pillows because she wants everybody to love their pillow as much as she loves her pillow she loves her pillow so they go to they get in bed at night and Jerry says I love you honey and Esther says I love my pillow <laughs> And she means it. She loves, loves, love because we have encouraged her to focus on, to focus upon what's immediately around her. In other words, she loves Jerry. She doesn't, have, she doesn't have to do any work on loving Jerry, except he sometimes is rather annoying, which, which means there might be some work to do. But her pillow, her pillow is so easy to love. Her pillow is so easy to love. It just bees there. It just bees comfortable. It, it, it's, it's so small. She can take it with her in her suitcase. Now this sounds silly, but, but something to focus upon. On. then she loves the bedding she loves the comfort in the room she loves the, no, no matter where the bed is she finds things to appreciate things to appreciate basking 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 to sleep and because they are inert objects they don't have personalities they don't hold grudges they've never done anything there when she focuses upon these things she can drift off to sleep in a sort of neutral non-resistant way then when she wakes up in the morning she's right there in that neutral non-resistant place then she moves right in as quickly as she can into something that feels even better sometimes she'll do a focus wheel if, if there's something that she's put in her pocket that she's wanting to clean up sometimes she'll do a focus wheel which will then lead her into a, a, a list of positive aspects about something and then into a rampage of appreciation but usually when she wakes up in that in that place of basking and then has the opportunity to to appreciate herself into greater and greater alignment she's establishing a set point that she's not as likely to slip away from and when you do that day after day after day after day after day we want the opportunity to say to you and and you can do it uh, a month from today when you awaken ask yourself every morning how do I feel when when you wake up how, how do I feel and when it moves from worry to eager you will have done the one piece that you're asking us that we can see in your vibration that would make the difference.